to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 126. I am Neil. I am Annalise. Hello. Hello. I am exhausted. Yes. So, <laughs> I don't plan on staying here for long. <laughs> you guys are going to get 10 minutes. <laughs> That's it. I, uh, I'm on my, I don't know, 26th, 27th day of work in a row. Mm -hmm. and they've been long days, and I'm just tired. I think your average, besides the nights where you actually spent the night, I think your average is like 14 hours. Yeah, 14 to 16 hours. Yeah. So, I'm just pooped. Pooped. Too pooped party. I am. But <laughs> that's wanted to at least check in and say hello. <laughs> so hello. All right. That's it. Dan Good night. Nee, nee, nee. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah. Give me the guitar. I'll play the outro and then we'll be done. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I messed that up. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do the slide, but I couldn't quite reach it. And then I, I dropped your pick on the ground. That's all right. I'll pick that up in a second. So how are you? Um, I'm good. I am also tired. Obviously not as tired as you are, but. Uh... Yeah. Must have been tough getting off work early yesterday and having today off. I can imagine mm -hmm. you're exhausted. <laughs> well, I was trying to do stuff. <laughs> I had to go to the grocery store and play with dogs and... Trade you. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> so, what do you got? Because I'm spent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I want to thank Agent Palmer for being on the show, not this past week, but the week before. Mm -hmm. and, that was fun. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And since we haven't checked back in since that aired, I just want to say thank you. Thanks for being on, and um, people seem to like the podcast talk, you know, lots of podcast. Yeah. Podcasters, not podcasters. Podcasting. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to sometimes have podcast talk with people in the podcasting podcaster world. <laughs> lots of podcasts. <laughs> I think most of the people that listen to podcasts know about podcasts or podcasts themselves, so it's not. Right. People that don't, then it's kind of a neat, like, oh, that's that's what happens. Yeah, it's also a nice a peek behind the curtain of shows and uh you know, I don't know, especially if you're not a podcaster and you listen, it's, it's interesting, I think, to look behind the scenes of other people's shows and at, even as someone who podcasts, I think it's interesting to hear how other people do it and their perspectives on everything. So, yeah, it's interesting, <laughs> at least for me, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah that's why they say thanks. Thanks to Palmer. Thank you, Palmer. Woo and thank you for everybody who enjoyed our origin show. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, really nice things tweeted at us and said to us about it and i got a couple really nice texts this is from people and uh, people really seem to enjoy it and we really appreciate that because obviously you can't really get more us about us talking about us there's a lot of us yeah. over there so well, that's that's all <laughs> this podcast really is so. i know but i mean like even more so about us like it's like us t even on another level <laughs> so <laughs> but it was nice we did get some nice feedback i uh i think i saw some of it Mm -hmm. I just checked in every now and then. Yeah. And I try to tell you if someone like t texted me or something, you know, I try to mention it, but I think that you saw, I, I was trying to assume that, you know, that you saw most of it or not assume that you didn't or, okay, guess what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it's a lot of fun and a lot of people really liked it. And I really, really appreciate that. Cause like I said, it's pretty personal and it's uh, a lot of us. So it's nice that people enjoyed it. Yeah. It's pretty rad. <laughs> I uh, was working for that Outside Lands concert and living in a tiny container. So I was tiny container living. <laughs> which was interesting because while I was there... Were you thinking about Tiny House? I was. <laughs> since we had been watching so much Tiny House, I was thinking about what it would be like to actually live in a space. And it's totally doable, mm -hmm. depending on your lifestyle and what you have. But it's if you set it up right, and I think, and if you don't have kids, I don't understand what the kids think. But right. I was in there, and I'm like, this. that was actually a little, the area we have is a little smaller than, it's like quite a bit smaller right. than most of the tiny houses. And I thought, yeah, as long as, you know, it was this plus a bathroom. Right. It'd be totally cool. Mm -hmm. I think that, especially if you have dogs or something, I think having like an outside usable space would be super important because it would almost like double your living space. And, and obviously your dogs can't hang out all day in a tiny container <laughs> yeah. so like you'd have to be super into like taking your dogs hiking or have an outside space or and a lot of those people do like i noticed on a little tiny house we were talking about that the other day but um how a lot of them have like big yards and stuff or they park it on like a farm or something and that would be pretty cool like that seems doable but but then but, you also have to have like yard tools take care of the yard so but it was just interesting to be living like that for a few days and mm -hmm. think like oh it's not bad although 
didn't have to cook. So that <laughs> makes things a little easier. Right. And it wasn't, it was not set up for full-time living. So it right. didn't have a kitchen, but it was uh, interesting. It was kind of fun. And I got to see the Muppets play music. I was going to ask you about um, your experiences. I actually didn't uh, hear that much about it this year. Normally, we talk about it a little bit more, but um, yeah, the the lineup let's, was. Let's, let's hear the low lights and the highlights, and if somebody buried a keg. No one buried a keg. <laughs> Damn I, it! I was told by That's security. I was told by security if I find something buried, not to poke at it because people are afraid of that it could be a bomb. Don't poke at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, well, that's a good because when I found the that's keg, a good I was heads up. <laughs> I was poking at it, right, to see what was down there. And this time, security said, "No, if you find something buried, come and get us. Don't don't poke. At call it. the FBI. <laughs> come and get us. Call Homeland Security. Don't poke at it. If you find I something thought, buried, don't poke at it. I thought that's a good that's a good tip. Thank you for that. So I didn't poke at it. I didn't find anything buried. Um, it was the weather wasn't really good at all except for part of sunday it was actually really cold and really oh, foggy really? uh but it's fun i mean people had fun it was packed it sells out right and it's gigantic for people that don't know it's the outside land music outside lands music festival in san francisco it's in golden gate park and it was uh the lineup wasn't exactly my cup of tea i didn't find it to be a strong lineup i know some people were in were into it but it like i'm not a big lcd sound system fan I don't yeah. even know how they got the show, to be honest with you. <laughs> they actually retired and came back out of retirement or whatever. That's too bad. <laughs> oh, I like them. <laughs> and uh, the music's not bad. They're very talented, but it's... it's. They're an older band, which I find it's fascinating. It's so bland to me. I'm like, anybody could have written... The, I Like, they could have told me it was anybody, and I'd be like, oh, okay. It's not like they have this real distinct <laughs> right. sound. I guess that's true. Um, but they're not bad. But it, just for a music festival to decide, you know, you're used to Foo Fighters and Metallica, and right. Elton John. Yeah, you know, I guess they didn't these have a big, huge big standout names. band, did they? Radiohead. Well, yeah, well. That's pretty freaking big. <laughs> that's actually, I forgot about Radiohead, which is funny. I was more focused on Duran Duran than Radiohead because I, yeah. like, I knew Duran Duran was playing Friday night. And I was like, oh, who's playing on Saturday? You're like, um, Radiohead? <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> and Duran Duran was really good, but people were not that into it, that's... surprisingly. Horrible. Well, it was also really early, like for the little light show and performance. Don't you think it was a little bit early? Maybe, but Billy Idol played in the earlier slot than Duran Duran and had that place freaking going Rockin'? nuts. And that was last year? Billy or Idol two years year? ago. Hmm. It, I don't know now. I have oh, no clue. It all runs together. But they were really good. They sounded re surprisingly good. I was surprised because I didn't think they were going to sound that good. Right, because they're older and yeah, they're I mean, definitely, they weren't the best of musicians to begin no. with. <laughs> well, some of, the, some of them are, I mean, is Andy, Taylor's, Andy Taylor right. is a really good guitar player. Right. Um, but they are definitely tuned down, I'd say, six or seven steps. Huh. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, really? But they're tuned huh. down a bit. Like on purpose? Like... Oh, yeah, because he, does, he doesn't sing that high anymore. Right. So, so it's funny because it all sounds, it's all in the lower register now. Mm -hmm. It sounds all like they're trying to be grungy. <laughs> You know, well, maybe they're trying to, you know, mix it up, but you're probably no, right. they're not they're trying to mix it up, they're trying to stay within his range. I mean, right. he can't, yeah, he can't do you know, you two does the same thing now, too. So, right, that makes sense. but it, it was fun. Uh, the Muppets did play, right? How did that work? It was pretty, it was the Muppets, and they were playing. So, the puppeteers were there Underne behind yeah, them? underneath, like, underneath. So, they set a fake stage up, That's and then the puppeteers went into that, and they played cover songs, and they, they. We're killing it. I saw a whole bunch of uh, pictures. People were posting pictures of the Muppets. It was great. Stuff, People yeah. loved it. Yeah. In fact, I think they they played in the they same did. slot <laughs> as Duran Duran. <laughs> they did better than Duran Duran. I, they did. It was weird. It was really weird. There were definitely the core fans up front that were into it. And there were a lot of people watching. Mm -hmm. But people were not, like, turning around going, oh, my God, that's Duran Duran. Like, they did with Billy Idol. Like, when Billy right. Idol started, there was no, really that's hardly so anybody in front of the stage. Weird, because I would and think that, it's a very, sorry. That's right. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Sorry. No, go on. <laughs> no, I have, I have questions. I want you to finish your story, and then I have questions about your story. And then when Billy Idol started playing, like, the freaking place just filled up. Like, people stopped. They got out of line for getting beer and went, this is freaking amazing. Duran Duran, oh. they were like, oh, I'm going to go get a beer. <laughs> like, everyone was commenting on it. They're like, this is really weird. Right. So huh. it was bizarre. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe it, I couldn't tell. Maybe it was just a younger crowd that, you know. But, I mean, Billy Idol's been around just as long, if not longer, than right. Duran Duran. I don't know. That was actually going to be my almost exact question. I was going to ask you what you thought the age of the crowd was because, but then I thought, well, Billy Idol is like the same era as Duran Duran. So, but I wonder, and what's really funny too is I think Duran Duran's music is very similar to current music. Like current music is totally ripping off the 80s. So like, I feel like if anything, they would be super popular. But I guess if the crowd was younger, they wouldn't really know who they are. 
Well, yeah, it's I don't know. It's tough because I had no. I didn't think anybody would know Billy Idol. It's not like people right. cover his songs all. The, people cover Duran Duran songs all the time. So I, I don't know. It was it was bizarre. I, it was really strange. I found it. But they sounded great. Right. And there, there was a lot. I mean, there were thousands of people. Right. It's not like it was empty. But it, it didn't get the response I thought it would. And it, yeah, it was just bizarre. Hmm. So maybe I didn't check. Maybe somebody else was playing at one of the other stages. Oh, that maybe was... they were playing across someone else yeah. for Fairly Famous or whatever. Could be. Um, the I noted that their tour, and this was part of their tour, their tour is doing great. Like they've been selling out shows. And um, Eric from Ladies Night Pod. Um, I, I don't know if that pod's retired, but we yeah. call it Ladies Night Pod. Um, went to see them in San Diego, and he said it was like this epic show. So he loved it; it was amazing. Yeah, and I think it was sold out. So, I mean, they're they, they're doing awesome. Like I said, they for sounded great. Reason. It was neat to to hear them. I I watched them from the bumper of a truck for a couple songs. I didn't want to go deal with the people. I was ex- already exhausted by then. Can you climb on top of your container? We used to. We don't anymore because then other people will think that they can, and we don't want people jumping the fence, climbing on our container. The first couple of years, even though there was a lot of people, uh, it, it just well, was a different vibe. because you guys are fenced off. So like yeah, it's, but it's, you it's... Can, they can climb up because right. there's all these new structures and stuff all around us. It's crazy. So, But I mean, if you tell them they can't, they'll try it. Yeah, well, I know security got... will just come and tell us to get down. Right. You know, we're not supposed to be up there. Right. So, but we did the first two years we w- watched from up there. Right. What if you got really tall chairs <laughs> so you can, like, kind of see over the fence? <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. We, I mean, we can also go backstage. We can watch them from the side of the stage. If yeah. We to. I guess so. I just. But, yeah, I, by then we're so fried that it doesn't you even matter. You almost don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It has to be. Someone you really want to see. I mean, the only shows I've actually went out and really watched was Paul McCartney, Mm -hmm. Foo Fighters, um, Elton John, Stevie Wonder. I went and saw some of Lionel Richie, who frickin' sounded amazing. But, I mean, he does. I mean, they're... Right. That's what he does. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) And they kept... He played a bunch of Commodore songs, which was pretty fun. Oh, nice. Yeah. They did Brick House, which was hilarious. <laughs> um, they, um, he is actually very pop, uh, um, not popular, but um, very active on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And they did Periscope. Like someone on the side of the stage, like one of his crew members or whatever, were, was Periscoping the concert and like him b- backstage and him talking to, um, there was a heavy metal band, I think, that played before him or. Not on the main stage. Hmm. But um, like he said, he was back. He was back. I mean, what do you what do you consider heavy metal? Well, I I, I can't remember. I can't. I'll look it up. But um, okay. but um, it was like him and backstage with like these rockers or whatever, and he was like, yeah. <laughs> well, there were there were bands that look like they'd be rockers. Uh, maybe so. They, their music, <laughs> they're not really. Right? Yeah, their music. they then they bring out the synth pop. <laughs> it's kind of like the yeah. It's kind of like the whole uh, the millennial thing right now with the beards and the skinny jeans. Like right. they look like they're lumberjacks, but those but dudes not. can't even drive a stick. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's... You're I'd trying be, to fit that beard into a Mini Cooper? I know. I'd, I'd be so let down if I was one of the chickies dating that guy and, I'm, and was like, I got like a really dudesly dude. This guy's going to, you know, because I have shit I need done around the house and right. I don't want to do it. I have him do it. And he's going to be like, what's that? She's like a hammer. And he's like, no. Where's my beard wax? Right. I need to press my skinny jeans. The, the crowd... You guys wear the same size? The crowd is that today? The crowd is all over privileged, freaking upper middle class white people. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, it's in San Francisco, so... However, um, <laughs> Major Laser was there, which was really cool. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, was that it also was Big Boy? Big Boy was there, yeah. Yeah, Big Boy and Major Laser, right? M- Major... M- Major Laser. But it was, it was good, because Major Laser was like, we don't even write our own stuff. We just have fun. Woo! Because it's pretty much all sampled and right. covers and stuff. It was good. That's awesome. When I say major, you say later. We just did that the whole time. And people went crazy. <laughs> I would love it. Beard if, um, wax was flying everywhere. DJ Shadow would play. Oh, I love that guy. And he's from the Bay Area. Yeah. I don't know why. He's on a like sold out world tour right now. He has, has a new album. I mean, he's I would love to see that guy. He's got better stuff to do. <laughs> Apparently he does. Someone needs to get on that though. I'd like to see DJ Shadow for reals. Uh, they have the dates for next year. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. August? Which is the 12th, 13th, and 14th, I think, or whatever. Mm-hmm. I will not be planning our vacation after Outside <laughs> Lands ever again. No. <laughs> unless there's like a three-week break. Right. But this, no. Right. I, right now, it's I have, exhausting I have, to go right into vacation. I have no desire to get on a plane right now. Right. Like, I can't even think straight about packing. I can't even comprehend. I can't even put words together. <laughs> Speaking of vacation... 
Yes. We're going to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> I am so thrilled to tell you. But it, I'm You're going to be super happy once. I think once we're actually like on our way, I think you'll be okay. But like, once we land in Jamaica, right? I'll be better. I think I was thinking about that today, actually, where um, when we go on vacation, like you know, we're both a little stressed. You more so because you just take a lot on yourself. I think, but um, I think that like you know, like it's, it's a trip and you get it geared up for the trip and you get there and you have all the stuff to do before and looking super forward to vacation. But even, even when we get there, like when we get off the plane, we still have to go through security and get there and, and, and get on the bus and everything. And that's actually fairly relaxing. Like I'm fairly relaxed once we are landed and you know, we get off the plane, like I'm fairly relaxed at that point, but I don't really relax and I don't have that moment until we get to the resort. But Every year that we go and every time I have that moment where we get to the resort and I walk into the lobby and you can see the ocean from the lobby and you can like smell the Caribbean smell and, you know, the water and everything. And I just have that moment where I'm just like, yes, yes. Like I just exhale and like, okay, try to absorb this. Just let it go. Just be here. Be here. I don't, I don't think I get stressed when we travel. I think you get stressed when we travel. I think I'm very calm because yeah, I don't I'm like usually to telling you I to don't like calm down. To fly. Travel doesn't stress me out. I just like <laughs> to have everything set and right. going. You, and it's, you get a little uh, nervous and jumpy. Right. I, I, I don't think that like we're all going to die in a fiery crash. That's really not my concern. Like I just get a little claustrophobic on the plane and I like. And I'm comfortable on the plane, and so I know that's coming, and so I think I stress myself out about it a little bit. Yeah, but which is totally understandable. Right, I'm like, okay, this is gonna, I'm gonna be curled up in a little uncomfortable ball for the next, you know, six hours or whatever. This, this is the first year with my, like, with my newfound anxiety that I'll be traveling. Mm -hmm. So I'll be interested to see how that, because right now. Right. Normally you're the rock. So. Right now, like I'm, I'm having anxiety. I don't even want to pack. Like I, right. you know. It's, it's weird. But uh, do you remember the first thing I told you the first time we flied, flew, flied? Flied? <laughs> no, I don't know. First time we flew. I don't remember. I told you if the plane crashes and when we're going down, I said, please don't scream. <laughs> the last, I don't want the last memory of you to be that you're just screaming. You're freaking, if the plane's going down, we're going to die. So don't worry about right. it. Right. <laughs> no need like... to stress out about it. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, we're Screaming's dead. Screaming is not going to help you with yeah, that Yeah, we're dead. Just <laughs> hold my hand. Just, just. Close your eyes, we'll, hold my hand. <laughs> if it's very loud, we'll yell at each other, whatever we want to say. If it's not, we'll just talk to each other. But just don't freaking don't burst panic. into tears and start screaming. <laughs> right. I don't want that but to be you don't my want to last go out that thought. Way, yeah. no. Especially if one of us actually survives. I don't want that to be my memory of you. <laughs> no Unless offense. it's a person screaming that survives. goes, Dad, I'll show you, you son of a bitch. It's the screaming. That's... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, still screaming. <laughs> Sorry. I, <laughs> That's not funny. I, I get I get nervous. I don't get nervous about flying. I get nervous about dying. Right. Just because I think it would be a terrible way to go. I think an airplane crash would just be a terrible way to go. I don't know. You that have I'm, time to think about it. I don't know that I'm scared of death. I'm scared about the pain before death, and I'm not. Like super scared of pain in oh, general. Oh, there'll be no pain. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to have that realization. I'd rather just be like, oh, weird, the plane, and then have it be over. I don't want that like five minutes of anxiety oh, between the we're going to crash and then the crashing. Five I'd minutes. I'd rather just crash. 30 seconds would feel like forever. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, I I, I don't want that 30 seconds. Yeah. I'd rather I rather just go out in a blaze of glory and not notice I was going out. So, yeah. I just want to go to sleep and not wake up. <laughs> Yeah, it, anyway. it, it, but so we're going to Jamaica. So we're going in a to couple Jamaica. Days. So let's talk about death. <laughs> next, it, should everything go according to plan, our next show next week will be from Jamaica. Yeah, woohoo! And the week after that will also be from J Jamaica with special guest Tony and Jeannie from Salty Language. <laughs> other, and like we talked about earlier, apparently Brian didn't want to go. Brian hates us. <laughs> So we're looking forward to that, as you can tell from the sound of my voice, that I'm... <laughs> you are looking forward to it. I, I am. You need a vacation. I think you're just not looking forward. I don't need it just... a vacation. No one needs a vacation. Well, okay. Very few things we need. I look forward to going on vacation. <laughs> I, I'm not, at this particular second, looking forward to everything that leads up to going on vacation. No, I think that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that vacation is good, but I know that having vacation so close to... 
um, outside lands is a little too stressful. Should not do that again. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, it, I don't know if it's stressful. It's just exhausting. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I have so much to do around the house and I'm behind on that. And then to think, oh, let's go away for two weeks. <laughs> I just want to sleep. Yeah. It's really all I want to do. Which I might do right now. Right. <laughs> Let's do this for like 20 more minutes and then you can go to sleep. <laughs> we just need like 20 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it will be fun and it's going to be very exciting to meet Tony and Jeannie in person it's and gonna be the spend time in, in paradise person. with them. I can get, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not nervous about meeting them because I feel pretty comfortable. I wasn't really nervous about going to like um, Portland when we did that. But I, I am starting to get nervous and I don't know why. Like I, I I'm, haven't been feeling nervous i think that like the day before or something i'll start to get like a little nervous or something because I, I always have that anxiety of like oh what if they don't like me or whatever <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah i don't i don't get nervous about meeting them i get nervous whenever i suggest a place it could be anywhere for somewhere to go and if they right, don't have a they good don't time like it. yeah and i think that's, i told the story <laughs> about a friend of mine who went on their honeymoon to Jamaica on my mm -hmm. request and didn't like it at all. Oh no. I it, don't it think rained, I've heard, have I heard that it story? rained the whole time and they just didn't did not have a good time. Oh wow. I'm not yeah. I don't think you told me that story. Yeah, so I always think that you know, because it's hard, you know, you, your interest. Fortunately, aside from that, everyone else that I've ever shared information with and went on my right. re, you know, referral or just got information absolutely loved it. So the you know the odds are pretty good mm -hmm. that they, but it's a lot of money. And so it's, you know, if somebody goes and doesn't have a good time, it kind of sucks for them to be like, meh, <laughs> not really. I've talked to a few people about going to Jamaica that, you know, they've asked me about it. And there was, uh, there's this guy that I work with, um, who he and his girlfriend just got back from Mexico. And, um, he was like, oh yeah, you know, we thought about going to Jamaica. I got that, all that information for you and from you and stuff, but Mexico was a little bit cheaper. And then you know, having talked to you about it, I realized that we wanted to like drive around and do all that stuff. And, and, um, since she had been to Mexico before, we're like, Oh, you know, and I was like, yeah, it's, it's a different kind of vacation. Kind of like oh, yeah. Hawaii is a different kind of vacation. And speaking of Hawaii, like in the past two or three months, I think six people that I know at work and work with on some level, have all been to Hawaii. Like, everybody just keeps going to Hawaii. Like, I keep seeing pictures from Hawaii. I'm like, is he in Hawaii? <laughs> is she in Hawaii? Who's going? Like, everybody's on vacation and everybody's in Hawaii. I'm like, are they all just going together? And Do Roger's we about to go to Hawaii. See? And I'm just like, are we, we should be getting, like, a group discount at this point. <laughs> like, you know, like, seriously, like, I think, I, I can think of, like, six without even trying. And so we need to, like, look into, like, some sort of Skywalker group <laughs> Hawaii discount. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Hawaii through. is an interesting. It's a different kind of vacation. Yeah. It's totally I've, different I've, than Jamaica. It's, I've been it's tropical few, and it's beautiful, but it's just different. I've been a few times and it's just not my, my it's gig. It's not jam. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, and I always feel weird about that because it's really easy to go. Right. And it's fairly close. Mm-hmm. It's a five-hour flight. Yeah. Just not my my deal. <laughs> I like it. But I, I know, love and I, I love the culture, though. and you know, but it's it's just something. It's a little hard to find authentic Hawaiian things to do because just like so many other places, it's very touristy now, and so like you go to like a luau, but it's like a luau that's put on. It's not like some Hawaiian like family's an accidental luau. luau? <laughs> I would like to stumble upon an accidental luau. You just luau. want to be driving down the road and go, are they, are those, That sounds perfect. Is that poi and a pig? Yeah. <laughs> How perfect would that be? Invited to some families, you know, just weekend luau. But I would rather that than like, and the luau's are cool and all that, but they're just like productions. It's like going to dinner at a movie. You know, it's like their version of whatever they think you want to see while you're there. So, yeah, and so it's cool, and I really like that you can drive yourself around. You can just drive yourself around the island and stop at beach to beach to beach and do whatever. It's another state. Yeah, exactly. So you're, you're still in America. <laughs> yeah. First, first but, place, whenever mm -hmm. I go, first place I go is Costco. Pick up my alcohol. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Get and off the snacks. plane, rent your car, stop at Costco, get your supplies, and then go to your hotel. So it's not really any different. But it's fun. It's it fun. And I get fun. why people like it. And I think I it's my... I completely agree. But it's my... It's not my... I enjoyed Mexico okay. Mm -hmm. I wish Mexico 
was a little safer right now. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of the resort towns are okay, right? Um, especially on the Caribbean side. It's just hard because when because I do price and check out other things. When I price it out, it's not so much of a savings from Jamaica right. that for me it's worth. Now going to like Belize or Costa Rica or another mm -hmm. island, not that those are islands, but or a different island in the Caribbean. Uh, I'd like to go to Cuba someday. Would be fun, but then it's really hard to go away from something mm. I really, really enjoy. Right. It's it's and hard especially to... now that yeah, you know, I have friends there. Right. It's hard to give up something that you know you're going to have a good time at and you know you're going to enjoy. And I like going to another country. It is another country. And so like Hawaii is great and Hawaiian people are amazing, but it's it is kind of part of America, so it is very American. Like like you say, we can just stop at the Costco and... <laughs> yeah, go to Shell to get your gas. Yeah. Go to Safeway, which is a West Coast. <laughs> I think those are West Coast things. But. Right, <laughs> probably. But anyway, so... Be, be, yeah, whatever. But that, that so that's my concern. It's not <laughs> right, that, that won't we won't get time. along yeah. with them. I don't think that's an issue at all. Right. I think it's more that they don't have a good time. Right. But like when I we went for our wedding anywhere though. <laughs> that's true. I don't think they'd have a bad time. Right. Just it'd be a shame if, you know, afterwards they're like, eh, it's, yeah, it's a, know. it's a lot of money for a vacation that you don't enjoy if you but don't enjoy it. <laughs> I definitely think again, going on a vacation by themselves somewhere like that, even if it was miserable, it'll be awesome. Right. <laughs> it's hard to be um, miserable in paradise. You gotta be trying. <laughs> but oh I've seen people try. Oh I know. <laughs> I've seen I, it. <laughs> I I but I don't no, I don't I don't even think twice about getting along. We've yeah. known them long enough and they know we know about and so much about each other's lives through the podcast and Facebook and Twitter and texting that right. um I love our little group texts. <laughs> it's it's funny how um you know, like there's things that maybe you have certain views on, like whether it's religion or the Second Amendment or politics or this and that. And then you have friends or family that have opposite views and you just kind of like, no, yeah, okay, that's cool. You know, whatever. Right. Or whoever has opposite views. But if you if you were to blindly see somebody and goes, this person has every opposite view that you do, you're probably like, no, I'm not going to make an effort to be friends with that person. Right. But it's almost like at that point now with – you know, like with Tony and Gina, that if they had total, which they, we don't have opposite views about everything, but if we did, it's still like, they're close enough. They're like, oh, they're just silly kids. <laughs> we'll look over that. Yeah. <laughs> they like skinning like dolphins enough. and wearing the skin. That's fine. <laughs> Baby seal slippers well, for everybody. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> but close. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not, yeah, I'm not concerned about that. <laughs> I don't want baby seals. I bet they're comfy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's terrible. Little face on the end. <laughs> terrible. Okay, before we move on from, well, I think we already moved on because we're on to Jamaica, but um, before we move on completely from the concert stuff. Um, we did. I know. But um, so. Well, maybe we should get into it. We should just get into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to do a shout out to uh, Stuff That Matters because um, they did. Uh, this this week on their podcast, they're like, oh, we'll just do like Dark Angels. Let's get into it. Get into <laughs> it's like, it. oh, no. I, just, I only started saying that a little while ago. Now, now I say it all the time. I but. should I should apologize, too. I am way behind on podcasts because I just didn't have the time. <laughs> and when I had downtime, the last thing I wanted to do was listen to more people talk. <laughs> I spent a I lot of guys. time. They don't want to listen to you I spent a talk. lot of time this, <laughs> this, these last 20 hour many days actually listening to music, which mm -hmm. was nice because yeah. it, I can unplug a little bit. Nice. Yes. So I will catch up, but I apologize. I have no idea what's going on in the podcast world, except um, I did listen to two episodes of This American Life. <laughs> okay. About the refugee crisis. Oh, okay. So I wanted to have something light to pick something me up. Something light and happy to think to. about. I'm going to scratch my junk here for a second. All right. Nice. Um, but I wanted to talk about, like, before we talked about once before, like, at Outside Lands, you um, were surprised by seeing, um, I'm going to say it wrong, bear with me, mm -hmm. Rodrigo. It's, Rodrigo y Gabriela. Yes, that's the one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they just played here in town. Um, they played Bottle Rock and then they had a show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, I mean, like, they literally just played, like, Levi concert, blah, 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 in the city, uh, like, two days ago or something like that. But 
Anyway, um, and you said that, like, you know, when you saw them, you're like, whoa, who the hell is this? You know, whatever. So is there anybody like that this year? Nope. Nope. <laughs> there, there has not been anybody like Nobody that. Nobody stands out. Last year, there was a couple. Uh, oh, no. What was the band I told I asked you if you knew? What was their name? Their name knew no, now. The, um, the, p- and I knew who they were. Yeah. The, um. Equals seven or something like that. Anyway, who, whatever that, they were pretty good. It's not totally my. T- I mean, I like that kind of music, but it, like when I was rock for you. <laughs> when I was list- sitting there and listening to it, I'm like, oh, this is pretty good. I'm I'm into this. Mm-hmm. Um, besides that, <clears throat> not. We'll try to remember what that band is. I'll look through my not my text. really. <laughs> um, not nothing ever like Rodrigo y Gabriela and Billy Idol. Mm-hmm. Uh, aside from the like Paul McCartney and stuff like that, right, were right. the two that like you, surprised you? Rodrigo G- y Gabriela, I had no idea who they were until they played, mm-hmm. and they surprised. And that was like five years ago, though. That was the first one, so that was like nine years ago. Oh wow, okay. So no one knew what the hell was going on when they started playing, <laughs> and by the they were I think either opening or the second band, and by the time they were done, the place was freaking packed. Wow. That's so awesome. Yeah. So happy for them. And I downloaded all, well, I think at that time they only had two, but I downloaded their songs Mm -hmm. while listening to them. And, uh, and they're, yeah, they're amazing. Uh, And then Billy Idol, just because of the mad mad craziness (laughs) that he was able to bring. Um, But no, uh, this, there was, last year there was, they had, it was interesting on the main stage. They seem to have a lot of female artists. Hmm. So I think that band Haim, I think it's yeah. three sisters. I might have them confused with somebody else. Hmm. Uh, they were actually really good. Well, actually, they're, they're talented musicians, but I had no idea who they were. They were really good. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. And there was a couple other chickies up there singing and rocking out mm-hmm. that were really good. Nice. Did you catch any um, local bands? I know they don't do a ton of local bands, but... No, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Third Eye Fucking Blind played. <laughs> <laughs> don't get angry. Oh, the only band... Take her down a notch. <laughs> <laughs> the only band oh, no. <laughs> ever that I don't like. Oh, my God. There's not a band that I say I don't like. I may not be my thing, but there's <laughs> always something I enjoy. It could be Is it their personality any or what, what, kind what? of music. Any kind. You could bring up anybody. You'd be like, oh, what do you think of Limp Biscuit? I'm like, I like it. Good stuff. <laughs> Nickelback. I'm into it. I'll, anybody. You'd be like, you know, Mozart. Chopin. Yeah, cool. I'm in. Bring up any rap. I'm like, yeah, find something in it that I like. Could Country? be the beat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm okay. a big Toby Keith fan. All oh, right. Bring it. Um, Kenny why? Chesney all up in my face. That's fine. But these sons of bitches. <laughs> really? Come on. These sons. Oh, my God. They just. Oh, as soon as it started, I was why? like, what? Why? I don't what, know. What is it? Is it because you know them? Well, the person I do know in the band I like and right. is a talented so why? musician. What? What? Know. does? Is it like a memory? I have no idea, but it's the only band. <laughs> but, you feel, but you like fill with hate. <laughs> oh, it's the only band I seriously don't like. Wow. Like I don't like that band. <laughs> and they're just out there doing what they want to do. They, right? they haven't done doing, anything to me. They're just doing their thing. You know, they're, and you're all hating on them. <laughs> they're successful. I mean, I have other friends who have been signed and in popular bands, and because I thought is it a, maybe I thought it was a jealousy thing. Right. But the person I know isn't the singer, so right. I'm like. I don't care about you then. You're not a drummer. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, God damn, I don't like that band. I mean, I really don't like that band. Okay. <laughs> okay. It drove me nuts. I was trying to ask about things you liked. <laughs> the only thing, the only, there was somebody who works for the, uh, for the production company while that band was on that I had to talk to about something at work. And it was nice because I had to do a little bit of work while that was going on. So I didn't actually have to focus on that fucking noise. <laughs> Pounded into my brain. Well, oh, breathe it out. Breathe it out. We're going to be on vacation in a couple days. Think of any band. Any band name. We'll be on vacation in a couple days. (laughs) Yeah, they better not be there. (laughs) Swear to God, if some Jamaican plays a Third Eye Blind cover, I'm going to go ape shit. (laughs) Well, any band. Think of any band. Any band. Breathe it out. Anyway, okay. Trickster. Let's they had on. some cool Let's stuff just, too. Uh, Any band you like? I don't even know what you're talking about. Wow, really? <laughs> no, but I'm saying even I'm all saying, the bands you like. No, I didn't say that. I, I'm just saying any. I didn't say even. I said any band. I <laughs> I'm just. You can mention anybody. That's too funny. That chick who sings Friday, she could have sang that for as long <laughs> as that she fucking could band put played. Put that on a loop, and she could have done it live, have over the, and over, and I would have been the, like, "That's um, not bad." Have the Shins played? Yes. How are they? 
Very good. I don't know if they played. I might have them confused with somebody else right now. Shout out louds? Could be what? anything. Wedding present? No. Mm. I don't know who I have them confused with, but I'm, in my head, I think they did. But then I well, there's the can't ones remember. that um, kind of copied them and got really famous. The um... Killers? No, I'm joking. No. After nine years. You know, I saw the Killers on their first tour after their first album came out for 15 bucks at this like little place, and they were amazing. After nine years, just on the main stage, they have, I think, six bands. A, so it's almost 60 bands, mm-hmm. just the main stage. Right. I can't. I don't freaking right. know. <laughs> One band ruined it Modest all Mouse? for me. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, MIA? Mia? I like her quite a bit. Yeah. Weren't you there for that show? No. She was good. Um, okay. I want to, um, thank everybody for all the birthday wishes. The first year they did Outside Lands, they did have heavy metal bands. Mastodon played. Oh, really? On the other stage. Yeah. Was they it don't just do too heavy. loud? Well, uh, I, I can just, you consider it Metallica? Guy. Oh, yeah. But yeah. they're, they're old they, guy yeah. heavy metal. It's like, it's like back in our day, like our <laughs> parents would go see. Step down a couple? <laughs> yeah. It's like our parents would go see, you know, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Like, oh, this, or Deep Purple. Like, oh, right. this is hardcore. We were like, mm. don't think so. <laughs> So that's what it was like. The kids these days are like, oh, Metallica, they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're old, but they're cute. Oh, speaking of Metallica, is there, was there any um, people who had such a crazy um, stage crossover they stay up all night for? No. No. Definitely no. No. That. Because I think what it was last year was the Foo Fighters played like on Friday and then the Metallica played on Saturday or that something like that. was four like years that. ago. Was it four years ago? Yeah, last year was Elton Time John. Time flies when you're year. having fun. <laughs> the, last year was Elton John. The year before that was Paul McCartney. So That's hilarious. So we go from like the Foo Fighters to like Elton John. Foo Fighters played before Paul McCartney and lost their shit because they did. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Grohl was going freaking bananas. So we're playing with Paul McCartney? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Foo Fighters played before me. No, I don't remember now. I could care less, to be honest with you, as long as it wasn't fucking Third Eye Blind. <laughs> um, I wish he reason, didn't step out from that ledge, I think Paul my McCartney friend. was last year, and Foo Fighters was the year before that, so it makes me wonder who the Foo Fighters opened up for. Maybe the Foo Fighters opened up for Elton John. No. That, no? no, I know no. it wasn't Elton John. It was either Paul McCartney or Metallica. Okay. I want to say Paul McCartney, but I really don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I want to talk about um, how um, I want to talk about my birthday and thank everybody for all my birthday wishes. I got a lot and it was very nice. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> I was about to cut you off. I'm glad I didn't. What were you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad that one I didn't. <laughs> okay. I would have been terrible. <laughs> After you would be like, I wanted, I would have been like, blah, blah, blah. And they used to talk about my birthday. I would have been like, oh. <laughs> 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 Not good. Well, um, and I want to super thank Super Ninja for coming out um, to Napa and taking me out to brunch. Oh, and I got to post this stupid thing today, too. Okay, easy. <laughs> Let's talk about my birthday. Stay focused Sorry. for a little bit longer. <laughs> oh. um, she took me out to brunch and we had... Um, Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. I missed it. Yes. No, we had dinner. We did have burritos. I'm, I'm, I'll let you tell your story. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I was first on the list, but you were talking about Nia. Go on. Yes. Um, <laughs> Nia came out and we, she took me out to breakfast. Was and... that on the day of your birthday? No. Mm. Was, so you're going to work uh... backwards? Well, she came out actually before my birthday. It was Saturday before my birthday, <laughs> wasn't it? No. No? No. Hmm. Are you sure? Know. I don't know. I think. Anyway. I wasn't here. Right. It's a good point. <laughs> so she came out for my birthday on a Saturday and we went out for brunch. It was lovely. We had mimosas. I had. They're called beignets, but they're more like donuts. And she had a lovely omelet. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but <laughs> it was either. good. And we went to that place that we don't get to go um, enough, and that was lovely. And then we went shopping, and then we had a beer. Oh, we shared a, uh, a boot at the Napa Palisades. That was hilarious. Jacob gave us a boot, and I was like, that's it. We're just going to share a boot. And he's like, that's it. And I'm like, that's it. We got to drive. <laughs> so <laughs> I think she liked the boot. It was very tasty. And they replaced that... Um, that uh, yerba mate drink and um, Charlie. That, that is the boot. Um, right. But he gave us a taste of it first. And then we were like, oh, yeah, we like this. We get, get the boot. But um, Oh, so so you didn't have. We didn't have the regular boot. It's the new boot that we had. And he gave us a taste of it first. And, we didn't have the burrito. And what, what burrow, the burrow, burrow right, punch. It's not the burrow punch anymore. It's called something else now. But um <clears throat> But Charlie, uh, as soon as we sat down, Charlie was like, oh, and he went over and got like a sample and just gave it to me. He's like, so what do you think of this? And is it good? 
It was really good. Not as good as the Burrow Punch. Um, it's different. I think that I really like the Burrow Punch, and so I, you know, I was like in my head, you look at the boot and you think you're getting a Burrow Punch, right? But then that's not what's coming out. What does it taste like? Is it's it it's still... similar. It's similar, but um, I can't remember what's in it. I have to look that's it up. Fine. But um, and it's called some other kind of punch, and it was very tasty. Yeah. But um, <laughs> would you get it again? Yeah, I would for sure. Um, yeah. But it's good. But anyway, we had a good time. Good. And um, she hung out with me. And that was uh, the weekend that the car was in the shop. <laughs> and so that was the weekend before my birthday. Because my birthday was on Tuesday. And then the um, car was in the shop, by the way. I think we, I don't know if we mentioned that or not. But, um, and then your parents came out um, this past Friday and took me out to dinner. And it was amazing. <laughs> All three of us super enjoyed our food. I know you guys probably already saw that I posted pictures of it and stuff. But, like, it was one of those kind of places that you go to and you're like, oh, everyone's super nice and super cool. And then you get your food and you're like, whoa, this is really good. And, like, we all had bites of each other's food and stuff like that. But I actually, like, you know, like, ate all of my food. And then I'm a nice person. So I let your dad scrape my plate with his bread. <laughs> And he was very thankful. And he, he was like... That's a euphemism. <laughs> and so I left a little bit there so he could have some, a taste of it, you know, because I had let him have bite already. But I was like, hey, do you want like the little remnant so you can like scrape the... And he literally, because my food was so good. I think I had the best meal because it was my birthday. But he looked at me. He's like, oh, are you sure? I'm like, no, yeah, you should have it. He's like, oh, but it's so good. I'm like, I know. That's why you need to have just the, the last part. And he's like, okay. And then he had like <laughs> just watching him like enjoy the last two bites. That was awesome. It was worth it. But um, I had a fabulous time, and um, and they did too, of course. <laughs> so thank you to everybody. And thank you, super thanks to Ninja and. Are you not parents. even gonna mention what what we actually did on your birthday? I am gonna mention that. I was I was thinking the outs first. Thinking the outs first. That, for going out for taking oh. me out. All right. <laughs> We um we had burritos for my birthday. Wow. Okay. <laughs> let's move on. What did we do on my birthday? No, let's move on. No, seriously. What no, am I forgetting? No, we didn't do anything. No, we must have. No, we didn't. We had burritos. Let's you do went this. To work. Let's do this. I got my hair done. <laughs> All right. I picked up burritos. Come on. We ate burritos. Chop chop. Let's do this. No, seriously. Am I'm, I forgetting something? No. Oh my God. Oh my God. You. I did get some cards from you. That was lovely. Yeah, okay. Ready? All right, here's the weather report. Damn it. <laughs> okay. It's 85 degrees. It is 85 degrees. 55% humidity. It's 76 inside with 53% humidity. Wind was blowing at 8 miles an hour. Although right now, looking outside, the wind is not blowing. Uh, average of 10. No, average of 6. <laughs> high of 10 and the barometer was at 29.95 and it's very pretty and sunny outside right it's like 80 what 85 okay well when we started recording it which feels like it was three days ago <laughs> okay so there's that all right let's let's do this do it what? um i think that's it yeah no i meant let's do our favorite five Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so go on. All right. So um, our favorite five this week is um, favorite five things to take on vacation, as in non-essential. Non-essential, like sunscreen doesn't count because toothpaste, you clothes. Have to take that. Yeah. You know. So I mean, a special article of clothes, but obviously you're not like, oh, I really like to have underwear while I'm on vacation. Right. You got to take that stuff. So bathing right. suits, <laughs> deodorant. Yeah. That's uh, a non-countable object. You want to so. go first? You want me to go first? Um, whatever you want. It's up to you. I'll go first. How about All that? right. Um, my number five is, <laughs> and I equate uh, my vacations to Jamaica, so I don't know if this would be appropriate on every vacation, but no, my number five is um, fancy flippy floppies, because I don't know where else you would wear rhinestone covered flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not sure I know anywhere where you should wear. It's but there is totally appropriate. <laughs> it is, damn it, it all is. All right. And they're like, so like you try to dress up your summer dress <laughs> with your fancy flippy floppies, <laughs> and I love it, and I think they're adorable, and uh, so that's one of my favorite things to take. And I got a new pair, so <laughs> I'm super happy about it. <laughs> nice. My uh, list is kind of Jamaica mm -hmm. went there because 
Right. It's I think would that, be different my, for my, Tahoe. My, right. Mine is too. Mine's based on us going to Jamaica. My number five is lube. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's awesome, but we don't take that on every vacation. Well, yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's a good point. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, not everybody uses it, but that's fine. But it's kind of, it's exciting to pay. It's like, yeah, you, I mean, you're hoping for the best. <laughs> We're going to totally use this on vacation. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> well, we use it here too. I'm just saying it's one of my favorite things to take. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I've done my list wrong. <laughs> um. Okay. Remember, I did my list today and I'm exhausted. Right. So who knows? You might not. I like want that's what's on of... your brain, though. I like it. I like where your head's at. No. Um, okay, so my number four. And just for the record, none of the rest have to do with that first thing. <laughs> so I don't want a bunch of freaking tweets about, oh, you use the lube for your blah, blah, blah. I'm like, listen, I'm too tired <laughs> for this humor. Go listen to Third Eye Blind and shut up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. All right, what's your number Ooh. four? Um, my summer hats mm-hmm. that I only wear in Jamaica on vacation. Like, you know, it's super sunny around here. It's 90 often. So like, why don't I wear them here? I don't know. I don't though. I wear, but I wear a summer hat. But you or, do wear hats here. Um, yeah, but I don't even wear them because it's summer. Like I just, I wear a hat sometimes, but like. Yeah. But when sometimes we walk downtown and <clears> you say it's sunny, I'm going to take a hat. Right. But I mean like, <laughs> but I don't always wear my summer hat. I wear like no, my no. little cap or whatever right. that is. Um, a little train conductor's cap. <laughs> um, but I have like my little straw hat, summer hat set aside for just Jamaica. And I wear it there every day, all day long. And I love it. And I actually think I look kind of cute in it. Like if it's, I'm yeah. judging for myself. It's cute. I like wearing it. I think I look cute in it. And I look forward to wearing it. And I only wear it there. So Very nice. Summer hat. <laughs> my number four is bendy straws. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like taking my own bendy straws. Brilliant. Brilliant. So I don't have to lean up when I drink. I Nobody wants to have to flex get up. the straw down. <laughs> That's how lazy I am. I'm on vacation. I'm going to bring a non perishable to... item to your little <laughs> island because I'm a dick. They recycle, don't they? <laughs> I don't think you can recycle straws. Although, oh, you know what? Maybe no, I'll plastic. pack them out. I thought you can. Uh, maybe I'll take them this year and just not leave them there. Yeah, we could. And then throw them That's away. Fine. Get... Yeah, it's a good idea. I'll find out what they do with them. Yeah. And if it goes to the if landfill, they have a good recycling we'll bring program. them. Yeah. I don't think you can recycle straws. But I we'll find you out. you could, though, because they're plastic and they just... You can't recycle all plastic, so... Oh. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Okay. That's um, my number four. That's your number four. My number three is kind of a, um, a bulk item. <laughs> Not a bulk item, but like all things in one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I titled it Girly Stuff. Like... What? makeup and my shoes and my dresses and my jewelry and all that stuff that but that seems too that seems too yeah but i don't really wear that stuff but you take that stuff every... yeah but i don't like wear dresses like that like there are dresses that i haven't worn since last year in jamaica like there are things that i just take to jamaica and wear like i don't and i don't really dress up on the weekends i mean i'm usually just in t-shirts and jeans or a pair of shorts wouldn't that cover the straw hat then too <laughs> well i guess i'm just but... saying that seems very very like oh and like, i like to take all this stuff i take on vacation <laughs> i guess so but like this year i like and last year you know like for wedding purposes and stuff like that like i bought special like waterproof don't makeup. think we got married last year i, I know oh um, okay <laughs> um but like um but like um i bought like special waterproof mascara and makeup and things like that so like this year i was like oh i need a new waterproof mascara for vacation and so i went out and bought a new waterproof mascara cuz you know i want to wear on vacation and it's humid and i go in the water and so it's all stuff that i view as jamaica vacation stuff is all number 4 yes all, <laughs> all my girly stuff like makeup and i i, I, I don't want to like cheat and like put like shoes is one and makeup as another and jewelry as another like it's all stuff that i look forward to packing to go on vacation because i get to wear all of my awesome stuff fair enough <laughs> my number three am i on my number three you're on your number three what are you on um that was my number three. Oh, so, okay right what was your number four Van- summer hat oh, okay my Which number apparently should have been in my number three <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was as with your number five because hmm. <laughs> aren't those girly? They're rhinestone-covered flip-flops. 
Okay. <laughs> so number... three through five is all one big lump together. <laughs> it's all vacation Girl stuff. <laughs> Girl crap. Um, <laughs> my number three is the little Nerf football. That was almost on my list. I literally wrote it on my little side list. It's a tiny little, it's one of those little Nerf footballs with little torpedo tail or whatever right. kind of tail, rocket tail. So we you... got a new one for this year. Yeah. We may have gotten one for a gift for someone too. We might have, Shh, but now they know. You told them. They don't know. <laughs> they're not listening. They are listening. They're, they're going to listen tomorrow and then they're going to know they got a gift. Who are you talking about? <sighs> no one. They're not the only ones going. Well, I guess that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so my little Nerf football. That's awesome. And um, I love playing with that. And everybody always um, kind of looks at us when we're playing. And I don't think we're being obnoxious or anything. They look oh, no, at we us play like, out of the way. Yeah. And then people, like, I've had, stuff. I've noticed. Although that, of, that time in the pool when we were throwing the GoPros and the football, that was obnoxious. We were obnoxious that day. But we were all but drunk. It was the and wedding, we were getting it was married. The, I think it was the wedding day, actually. I think that was the wedding night. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> no. Because we went on the we I think it was the, the day before the wedding. Whatever. Yeah, but yeah that anyway. was a little obnoxious. But um, yeah, we were a little obnoxious. But the pool wasn't super busy, so we got away with it. The, yeah. I mean, we got I, away with being obnoxious. And it didn't go one, on for that one long. One night, yeah, a couple hours, but it was obnoxious. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Sorry, couples. <laughs> um You were saying that um I've seen people like uh point at us and like smile and like talk to each other and be like, Oh, we should like bring one of those. That seems fun. Yeah. And I think that someone almost asked if they could borrow it once, but they didn't quite and I almost offered, but I you know Don't offer I, my football to anybody. See, exactly. There you go. I didn't. But I didn't. Might have been somebody from Third Eye Blind. You never know. When when we play, we usually play in the water away from people. Right. We're not like we take on it the out. beach. No, no, no. We take it out to the yeah. water. It's our water play. Or in in the pool. And, and we'll only do it if it's not crowded where we're at and only for like five or ten minutes at right. a time. It's not like we have a whole game out there. We've <laughs> well, thrown it to other people that have wanted it, and then they've yeah. thrown it back. And then I had to wash it off. I touched it with their greasy hands. <laughs> their rum-soaked hands. Their rum-soaked jerk chicken, third-eye blind listening hands. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right, my number two. Yes. Is books. Books. I like taking my books because um, I probably could try to squeeze in some more book time at home, but I like having the intensive time and relaxation time to read books on vacation and typically not all not every single year but typically i get through quite a few books and i really enjoy it and i look forward to it and like i get my books together and i'm like hee hee, i'm gonna read this book hee hee, i'm gonna read this book and i love taking books you know with me even on the way there, like on the plane it helps me tune out and i love it and i like having not only the book book but i like having um we have the kindle app on the ipad and we also have a kindle and so i love reading books like that as well while we're there because then you know because obviously you can't pack like a whole bunch of books because they're heavy but i usually take one paperback and like the kindle so it reminds me pre pre kindle how many books i would pack you're right <laughs> insane i can need extra suitcase for these books crazy and they actually have a little cute library there that lets you um check out books and every stuff. resort yeah and a lot people of, leave lot them of german behind. books yeah yeah for some reason there's a ton a of german of books, books like a german. whole shelf of just german not books, books about german right in german. books in german yeah. Anyway. Probably about Germans, too. I could imagine. I can't <laughs> I read them. I assume it's a German-based book. Probably about Germans. I don't know. My number two are koozies. Ah! I like taking the drink koozies. <gasps> that is my it's number fun. one. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. We get a little okay. high five for that. Yeah. Because <laughs> I like taking koozies in general, but I also like taking our Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks koozies because people ask us about them, and we end up giving them away. Yeah, well, we've only done really that fun. once. This will be the... The second year. Yeah. Right. But that was fun. Yeah, it was neat. Yeah, and then the year before that, we've taken um, Lake Tahoe koozies. We try to make other people's vacation about us, too. Exactly. It's like, hey, what are you doing? Enjoying yourself? No, have our koozie. No, have our koozie. Let's talk about us. (laughs) What's Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks? It's awesome. Put your fucking drink in it and (laughs) shut up. We're going to go talk to those people now. Take your koozie. Yeah. And like it, but I, yeah, the koozies are awesome in general. Like we don't it doesn't necessarily have to be ours. Oh, are you listening to Third Eye Blind? No koozie for you, dickhead. But um, I like koozies in general because they also, you know, help keep your drink warm and the sweat and blah blah blah. But I also well, I like that they keep it cold. That too. They help keep koozies. your drink warm. <laughs> That's my number one. My number, number one, one is you. You like taking me on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I just assumed that um, well, yeah. that was an automatic you, thing. So. You do a lot of assu- assuming in this relationship. I understand how it is. Yeah, it, I do. But I... Uh, Thank you. No, you were my number one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just assumed since we we're going to Jamaica, you my were My little travel so. buddy. You're like my little travel buddy. <laughs> That's 
that's funny. You're like a, a snuggle buddy, but for traveling. <laughs> I try to snuggle you on the plane a lot because it helps me tune out. What? I try to snuggle you on the plane a lot because it, it's, mm. it's hard to like I will, ignore everybody. I will give your plane behavior maybe from Jamaica. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're funny on a plane. I get antsy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you want to call it? <laughs> sure. All right. Let's... Let's get out of here. Yeah. Go to darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com to see where you can find us. <laughs> like Pinterest. Check us out on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and we are on iHeartRadio. And we are also on Geek Life Radio on Wednesdays at um, one standard specific And if you listen the last couple of times, you realize it was the same show because I couldn't upload it from work. Super sorry. You like it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. YouTube, Pinterest. <clears throat> I also put up the wrong video this week for last week's show you know i don't know what to tell you people <laughs> things happen yeah it's all good um let's go okay bye all right good night agent palmer <laughs>